What's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. Thanks for tuning in and guys, this is Drake on Digital. Guys, in this video today, I'm going to show you how to solve the ledger to MetaMask internal JSON-RPC error. Guys, this was driving me nuts for like three hours and I, I knew I wasn't the only one. I couldn't get transactions to go through. It wouldn't work on Uniswap. It wouldn't work on SushiSwap. It wouldn't work on any swap. It wouldn't work on any confirm. And I was thinking I have my ledger plugged in. It's saying, oh no, change the wire. Oh no, you should refresh. You should restart your computer. You should do all this junk, junk and eat a candy bar. And I'm like, what the pants, dude? It's still not working. Come on. And you contact MetaMask community and they do nothing. That's fine. I understand. That's how it works in crypto. <laughs> if, if, if you need help, you need to fix it. Well, you better get on your buns and go figure it out yourself. There's no one to call. There's no bank to call. So that's why I'm making this video. Let's go and explain it. How you guys solve it. This is the internal JSON-RPC error solved. By the way, guys, if you guys are new to the channel, smash up the like, subscribe to the channel, hit that bell notification. That way you guys are notified every time we make a new one. And that automatically entitles you to be in a drawing for $100 in BTC once a month. But you need to make the three requirements. Like, subscribe, bell button and leave a comment below saying, yeah, I subscribe. All right, guys, let's go and get into it now. So let me go ahead and replicate the error just so you guys can see what's going on. All right, so I'm gonna replicate this with the swap with USDC and ETH to show you guys what happens. So I entered the transaction, um, the MetaMask thing already showed up and it went for the approval and now I'm literally just waiting. It's not showing up on my ledger. So I'm just sitting here waiting. Come on, show up on the ledger. I've already done the three steps. First step, make sure the ledger's plugged in and make sure it's unlocked. Second step, oh, well, here's the error. You guys can't even see it, daggone it. Um, how do I explain this so you guys can see it? Yeah, basically it says failed transaction, transaction error. If you guys are having the error, you know exactly what it says. Um, but basically what happens is it won't let the uh, transaction go through. So, Three steps you need to make sure you've done. Unlock your ledger, one. Two, make sure it's plugged in, um, everything's functioning. Three, open the Ethereum app on your ledger. If you've already done all three of those steps, the next step is to go directly onto the Ethereum app. There's a button that says settings. So you'll have application as ready, you'll have version, whatever you have, and then you have settings. Double click on that settings, and there's a setting that says contract data allowed make sure that is allowed. So if it says not allowed, it's not going to work for you. That's the first step, but or not the first step, but those are the first steps. But I've already solved all those steps and I'm still getting the error. Well, what happened was with Brave Browser and Google Chrome, they both had an update. And inside this, it talks about the JSON error. Here it is, what's new? Ledger support update for Chrome users. As of Chrome version 91, the API that enabled our ledger, da, 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 you can enable ledger live supporting. Okay, I did all that, it didn't work. So this is how you solve it. You just open up or download Firefox and you can run MetaMask on Firefox and do all your swaps on Firefox. I know it's an inconvenience, but this is something that's a quick fix until they get this solved. As you can see guys, people are responding to this every day, every hour. They're like, hey bro, what's going on? What's going on? You need some help, I need some help. Obviously they're gonna figure this out soon. If they don't, you can still make your swaps, keep your farms from being liquidated on, um, on a different uh, browser like Firefox. And this is exactly how you'll open it up on Firefox. Once you're on Firefox, you go to your MetaMask and you can go onto your Ethereum app, what do you, whatever you wanna use. There's a setting right here where you connect hardware wallet. So this is if you already have the ledger integration, you'll say ledger, connect, it'll look for your ledger. As long as it's locked and open, it'll automatically find your ledger and you can upload it to this MetaMask. So now it pulls up a couple of different accounts. You can select the one that you wanna use and you hit boom and then you hit unlock and it'll put it on there for you. I'm not gonna do that because I've already done it and I don't want it on again. <laughs> um, so I'm just showing you guys the different steps you guys need to take to fix fix the internal JSON RPC error. Thanks for watching guys. If I brought any value to you guys, if I helped you with uh, any problems that you had with your MetaMask, great. Uh, hit me up with a like, subscribe, and a bell button, and leave a comment below saying you subscribed. 
And we'll go ahead and leave you guys with a wisdom one-liner. Proverbs chapter 26 verses, I think we're in 14 today. Yeah, as a door turns on its hinges, so a sluggard turns on its bed. Don't do that, guys. <laughs> Don't be lazy. Thanks for watching, guys. If you guys are new to the channel, go ahead and hit that like and subscribe button and hit that bell notification. That way you guys can be ahead of the game every time we make a new video that video all right guys if you guys want to get some free btc here is the quadruple threat guys there's a link in the description below you can sign up for celsius you get 40 dollars in free btc i get 40 dollars in free btc it is a win-win and if you enter in any of these codes this is for a limited time you will get an additional bonus of btc guys you cannot beat that the next in the quadruple threat is Voyager. Guys, when you sign up for Voyager, deposit $100, you will get $25 in free BTC. Need I say more? Probably not. The next one is BlockFi. This is also in the link in the description below. Deposit $100 and you also get $25 in free BTC. In both for BlockFi and for Celsius, you will be earning interest on the money you deposit and interest on the money you receive in the bonus, as in the BTC. And the final one that's in the link in the description below of the quadruple threat is crypto.com. Guys, when you get or reserve the metal crypto.com visa card, which is the Ruby one and up, you will get $25 USD paid in CRO. Guys, you got to check out these bonuses. Lots of fun. Thanks for tuning in.